Hello, today I will be discussing your upcoming business trip to Russia and the dining etiquette that you will have to follow while you are there. Alright, so first things first, as far as a place setting goes, you will have a couple things on the table in front of you. You will have a small plate, a vodka shot glass, a wine glass, and a water glass. So as far as utensils go, um, for Russians, they use standard European table manners, according to US Today Travel Tips. Uh, the fork belongs in the left hand and the knife belongs in the right. Uh, when multiple uh, forks and knives are on the table, the best way to follow it is just work your way from the outside in. Um, and when you are done, you will want to place your fork and knife horizontally on the plate facing left. As far as etiquette at the dining table, uh, you'll definitely want to keep your hands visible throughout the entire meal and your elbows will definitely need to be t left off of the table. Uh, for location of people around the table, the most honored guest will be at the head of the table and then the most important person will be to their immediate right. And then uh, when dinner is served, the oldest, most honored guest will be served first. So it actually used to be illegal in Russia to tip after a meal is served, uh, but now that is actually added into the total price and it's around 9 to 10 percent. So when at the end of the meal, you will not have to add any additional tip. As far as foods and manners and customaries around those things, um, you will never ever want to turn down a dinner or a social drink invite. Uh, this is considered rude and uh, it's kind of like refusing to shake someone's hand in the United States. So if someone offers you a drink, you take it and if they offer you dinner, you'll definitely want to go as well because you want to be as polite as possible and making sure that you are uh, being professional and that you are upholding that uh, persona while you're there. Uh, you will not want to start eating until the host tells you to do so. It is polite for the oldest people to eat first, so when people are being served, the oldest people will go first. Um, make sure that you do not finish your plate. If you finish your plate, it's considered rude because uh, it's implying that you are saying that the host did not provide you with enough food. So you definitely want to make sure that you leave a little bit of food on your plate. Um, while you are eating, you want to make sure that you're not looking at other people's plates as well because that is also considered rude. Um, you'll Even though you will want to keep extra food on your plate so as not to seem rude, uh, they'll definitely offer you multiple times if you want extras uh, and if you want seconds or thirds even. Um, it's fine if you take that, but you don't have to. Uh, just make sure that you always have a little bit left on your plate. Um, as far as specific foods, bread is always served during a meal, uh, not always with a bread plate and not with butter, uh, but you'll want to use that bread to sop up any sauce or um, gravy that's on the uh, plate while you're eating. Um, as far as wine, it's only served really uh, after dinner, sweet kind, kind of with dessert. Um, while you are at the dinner table, if you do need to pass any dishes, you'll be doing so to the left. And then uh, you'll definitely want to thank whoever prepared the meal uh, when you're done because this is also considered polite. As far as the actual business dinner conversations that are going to be happening, um, you, this is going to be a time really when deals are being made. Uh, it's not going to be time for small talk or getting to know one another. Um, business lunches or dinners are definitely the time to uh, make the deal. As far as drinks go, uh, vodka is served between every course. Um, there is nothing to be served with that vodka. That vodka is served in a shot glass with nothing uh, and not even ice is allowed to be in that glass with it. Uh, and it is also customary for men to pour drinks for the women at the table. As far as toasts go, um, you will not be allowed to drink until a toast is made. Uh, toasts are made to come, every toast 
you have to take a shot. Uh, you, while you are taking the shot, you will raise the glass and you will hold it there while the toast is being made. And then while uh, after the toast is made, you will clink with someone else's and then you will be expected to take the entire shot at once. Uh, you must finish it completely. It is considered rude to sip on that shot. Uh, it's impolite. Uh, according to the etiquette scholar, uh, you'll typically eat bread after each drink, which is good. You want to stop up that alcohol um, as well. During the toast, you want to make sure that you don't break any eye contact at all. Um, everyone at the table is expected to say a few words and make a toast themselves, especially if you are the person being toasted um, or if you are the guest of honor, you'll definitely want to make a toast. Uh, if you don't know what to say, it's okay. You can just uh, typically they say to your health in Russian. Um, so you can either say to your health or if you have a translator with you, you can ask them how to do that as well. Um, and then as far as the after meal goes, um, it is very customary for a meal to last quite a bit of time. Um, you'll spend time socializing after the meal and you'll definitely not want to leave until the guest of honor does. Um, so just make sure you have your eye out for that because you don't want to be considered rude by leaving. Um, it's recommended that you don't make after dinner plans because you're, you're not entirely sure when you're going to be leaving. Um, and then lastly, you'll definitely want to make sure that you are offering to help clean up. Uh, the host will most likely decline uh, because they will not want that help, but it is polite to ask, so you might as well offer. Uh, so that is the dining etiquette for Russia. Uh, best of luck to you in your business trip, and I hope all goes well. Have a great day. Bye.